Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and welcome back to my channel. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that by clicking that little button in the right hand corner of your screen. And don't forget to click the notification bell that's down there by the title of this video so you can be reminded of future videos when they are uploaded. Now what have I got for you today? Today I'm working with Craft Ease in collaboration for February and they just introduced some new glow diamond paintings and of course I had to have another one because the jellyfish was so beautiful and I wanted to bring you this one as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the package because they squished my package <laughs> in transit because um, you know right now these shipping services are trying to catch up after the holidays. So I'm going to get this out and I'm going to lay everything out and let's take a look at this beautiful diamond painting. I'm going to insert the image of this beauty so that you can get the full overall idea of what she looks like because she is a mermaid and you guys um hello if I could be anything that's what I would be I would be a mermaid you guys know I'm obsessed with undersea everything and if I could be a mystical creature and just that's just assuming they don't really exist okay and we're not going to get into that but I would be a mermaid so I wanted you to see how she's you know going to look and I'm going to rotate this sideways so we can really get all of it in the screen but I wanted to you know show you the contents and everything first so let's take a look quickly at the tools and the drills and we're going to take a closer look at the drills and everything but for right now I just wanted to have everything in the screen. I know I went through this with the jellyfish glow video so if you haven't seen that I'm going to insert it so that you can click on that video here but for right now let's take a look at what's included because they always include what you need to start if you've never done a diamond painting before it's important that you get a kit that has all of the contents that you need to start. Now if you'll notice I don't have paperweights holding this canvas down but when I rolled it out it is laying beautifully smooth. Now this right here a lot of people will say but it's got rivers in it. These aren't rivers. This is the plastic protective layer on the top that has just got little wrinkles in it but the canvas underneath has no flaws. So the tools kit that's included and it's kind of hard to see these over this so let me hold them over on this side. They have two pins and the pins have a multi-placer adapter on each end. The other end has singles. Now what's nice about getting two is not just because you're getting two multi-placers but it's nice if you have a partner in crime <laughs> that works on your diamond painting with you so that you can work on one end and the other person can work on the other end. So I like to have my Sassy Wax in one pen and my Diva Dough in the other pen. In addition, it also has two grippers that go on your pen, which you guys, this is such a small thing, but it is so valuable to me. I cannot diamond paint without something on my pen. Because I hold my pens really weird and I hold them against this finger, or my paintbrushes, I have, you know, this major callus right here because I'm painting all the time or I'm you know, drawing or whatever. And so it's uncomfortable for me. So when I have these, I'm just so thankful to see these in a kit. And you get two, so you get one for each of those pens, which I think is fabulous. You also get four squares of wax. You're getting the white tray with the funnel, which you guys know how I feel about the little funnel. And you're getting a pair of tweezers. I do like to put down my square drills with tweezers. I have not mastered the art of putting down round ones with tweezers because I will put someone's eye out as they launch across the room. <laughs> but I love tweezers for making sure I have them in the place that they need to be. So if I get a drill down and I don't like where I've placed it, it's beautiful to have a pair of tweezers to kind of shift and move them into place. 
So it's great to have these. Now let's take a quick look at this canvas. So I'm gonna rotate this. Now considering I just pulled this out of the box and it was rolled, you see there's very little rolling here at the end. By the time I finish this video, this probably won't even be you know, bending at all like that. I will add, just for lighting purposes, I'll add a little weight down here at the bottom so we can take a good look. I did mention that the name of this piece is Melody and it is by Sybil Art. And you guys know I love Sybil Art and I love her work. She just has this great little whimsical vibe about her and everything she does, I've just been kind of, you know, in love with. It is a 50 by 40 centimeter, which means it's 50 in height, 40 in width, which is a 20 by 16 in inches approximately. You guys know that does not translate to an exact 16 by 20 inch, okay? Keep that in mind because when you go to frame, it is not gonna be exactly 16 inches wide and 20 inches tall. It is a little shy of that. Don't buy a 16 by 20 inch frame and think this is gonna fit in it. It's gonna fall out if, <laughs> if you don't mat it and then put it on a larger like foam board, you know, and put it in there. So remember that. This piece has 22 colors, which we will look at in a moment, but I love to be able to zoom in and take a really close look at the drill code and the, I call it the schematic because it is amazing how they do their coating on their canvases. I love the way they do this. There are no, um, I don't know what to call it, bubbles <laughs> to place your drills. So you have to be really good about placing your drills. But there are here in this background, but there aren't here. So I like that because the little circle doesn't show behind it. So let's take a closer look and I'll, I'll kind of explain better what I'm talking about. I want you to see how there are no little circles around these particular schematics in the middle. And there are here, which is good for helping you place the drill, but there's no like black ring around these particular codes. And so what that does is it allows us when we put down our drill that we don't have that little black circle behind it to hide. Notice also the little shimmery glittery canvas, which is also really nice because if any of the canvas shows through, you've got this little sparkle behind it. Now I'm gonna move slowly and see this little wrinkle? That is just in the top plastic layer. So you don't have to worry about that in the canvas. That is not in the canvas. The canvas is completely smooth underneath. But look how visible, how clear and perfect the schematic is printed on this canvas. It is beautiful, totally easy to read. You should have no issues being able to determine what letter, what code, what number that you are looking at before you place down your drill. So I just removed that paperweight and you can see this is already laying flat, which is beautiful. Let's talk about the type of canvas. This is a plasticky type of texture. And as far as the stickiness, I did test the tack in the jellyfish video. So that has been tested and it was very high tack. So that is always important when you are purchasing a diamond painting. You always wanna consider how high tack that canvas is and whether it's gonna hold your drills for a long time. Because once you hang your piece, are those drills gonna fall off over time? If they are, then you got a problem. But the Craft Ease adhesive is very high tack. So that's not something you need to really worry about. Now let's take a look at our drills and talk about which ones are going to be our glow drills. Which part of this piece is going to glow in the dark? Because that is what this particular diamond painting is all about. The drills come in this bag but then they also are zippered in these bags, which you guys know how I love to find zipper bagged 
drills. They're so easy to get in and out of. I don't have to rip and tear and have scissors when I'm kitting up my diamond painting. It is just one less thing I have to do and I love it. If you don't kit your diamond painting in a, a different container, then you can leave it just like this. Pour into your tray and then pour back into your Ziploc bags and and this is just a beautiful way to store it. And then you can just keep them all in this packaging and then, you know, seal it back up. So that's a great way for them to do it. Another thing you'll notice, very clear numbers. I'm not even zoomed in and you can see that from where we are here in the distance. I am two and a half feet from the overhead camera and you can see that plainly. But I am gonna zoom in so we can take a closer look at these beautiful colors. Okay, so here are our regular colors, our regular drills. Lots of blues and our pinks, you know, our corals. And okay, they're beautiful, right? I'm gonna move these aside and we're gonna take a look at our special drills that come with this kit. Our glow drills in this kit are gonna be number three. And these are the ones that are going to glow in the dark. So every time we have a number three color, that's the one that's going to light up as we turn off our lights and we see this beauty from across the room or wherever. Number two and number 22 are the ones that have the Aurora Borealis. These are the ones that have that extra Aurora Borealis, which is that almost holographic, iridescent, extra shimmer on the top. So two of those are included. And then we have number six and number 20, which are the ones that are more like the gemstones. And these also give us an extra special finish. And that is what makes this kit more unique than other diamond painting kits. Right now, Crafties is the only one that I know of that has glow in the dark drills and diamond paint. We know that number three, they're gonna be our glow drills. Over here, number three on our color schematic is going to be the black circle. So when we go back to our canvas, everywhere we see that little black circle is going to be our glow in the dark drill. Now that means all of our outlining, her eyes here, all of that is going to be a glow in the dark drill. I want to do a little diamond painting for you guys. I think I'm going to do the moon right here. Let's do this outline because it's kind of a quick, small little area. And then we can turn off lights and see how this looks when it glows in the dark. So the hard part is gonna be seeing this before I turn off lights. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a photo because once I turn off lights, my camera is gonna auto adjust to no light and it's easier for me to do it with my iPhone, take a photo and insert it. So. I know you can't really see that because the blue blends in to the black underneath it, 
but you'll see it once I get a photo and insert it here. I love her. I, I'm, I think I'm just gonna call her Mel for short, <laughs> you know, because uh, I think she is my kindred spirit. So I hope you love this diamond painting. Please be sure to go check out Craft Ease and their new glow diamond paintings. I'll put the link here and I also put it in the description below so you can go find Mel. <laughs> Um, also known as Melody, and you can find their other offerings as well. I will have a promo code below in the description. Don't forget to join me on Patreon, the Facebook group, TikTok, and all my other social media, which I will put at the very bottom of the description below. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you back soon.